She is a creepy old lady, but she is one of the world's best hypnotists. And you hopefully understand that she is in a secluded, top secret area. So, you being by yourself, we greatly appreciate your understanding in the matter. This must be, this must be kept top secret. Um, hello, sir. Over here. Could you have a seat? Behind you. Yes, just sit down in that chair, please. <clears throat> Make yourself comfortable. Now, if you would please, just listen to the sound of my voice. And set your head back in the chair. Close your eyes and just listen to the sound of my voice. Let yourself fall into a deep sleep. A deep, deepity sleep. As you begin to drift away, all your thoughts and worries fall out of your beard onto the chair as you fall deeper and deeper into slumber. Into slumber. Slumber. You best not be fucking bullshit me now, boys. Hmm? Vincent! What you got over there? Got it. Am I going to be happy about this, boys? Hmm? Double check it! Vincent! Vincent! Yeah? Are we good? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. What the fuck is that? That, right there, that's you. Okay, what? All right, hear me out on this. You, standing here, right here, talking to me. You are an astral projection. Uh, I believe that you are the asshole. Thanks, though. No, 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 no. Astral projection. What it is, you're under hypnosis right now. You are sleeping. You are astral projecting yourself into this dream state. So you can see yourself in a third-person view kind of thing. Now, it's extremely vivid, yes. But you are, in fact, sleeping. Therefore, astral projection. Does this affect my butthole in any way? No, no asses involved here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me get this straight. So I'm a goddamn apparition. Ugh, no, no, no. Astral projection. A ghost is an apparition. To be a ghost, you would have to be dead. You are not dead. You're not dead. So you're not an apparition, okay? You're an astral projection of yourself. All you're doing is sleeping. It's an extremely vivid dream, and you're kind of moving around, sort of like in a parallel universe. That's pretty no That's pretty cool. You know, I could, I could chill like this forever, technically, right? Floating around and whatnot, you know? Probably getting a little hungry, though, right? Probably have to take a dump, too, eventually, or I'll probably shit my pants. Yeah, time moves slower in the dream state that we're in right now. And you're all right about the thing with the eating. You have to eat to stay alive, and if you're sleeping, you can't eat. But let's not forget the point of this whole deal. The contents of that case, they must be returned to Marcellus. 
Okay, so how do I wake up? Simple. You just got to walk through that door. Just walk through the door. <laughs> okay. What's up? Um, all right, Vincent, this is asinine. I'm, I'm still sleeping. Okay, 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 I see what happened. A couple of days ago, you must have had an extremely vivid dream about this place, am I right? Uh, yeah, yeah, come to think of it, I did. Okay, okay, so you had a dream, you brought the contents of the case into the dream, and you got ripped off by that bitch there in the cloak for the contents of the case. Now, the reason we're back here now is because we had to come back to retrieve those contents because Marcellus Wallace does not like to be fucked with. Wait, wait a goddamn minute. How the fuck does this case exist only in the dream world? All right, I'll explain a little farther then. The case is real. It exists in both places. But since you brought it into the dream somehow and got the stuff stolen out of it, the creepy old lady had to hypnotize you to come back to the exact place so you could retrieve the items. I just asked you back there if the case was cool. Are you bullshitting me? Look, man, the bitch is a, is a fucking cloaked demon, okay? She's got moves. She must have snagged your shit before you got back to the door to wake up. All right. Nothing in here, Vincent. There's no creepy light coming out of this case. I fucking told you, man. Confront the demon, bitch, to get your stuff back. You're some bitch, you know that? Who, me? What the fuck is your problem? My problem? It's with you, Vincent. Yeah, back in the taxi cab. I was the only one in that fucking taxi cab. I didn't tell anybody I was coming to get hypnotized to get back in the dream to get this shit. You weren't there. I was contacted by the creepy voodoo lady. I contacted her to do this to me. You know why? Because I was embarrassed about getting hijacked from a shit inside a fucking dream. I didn't tell anybody about this. You fucking motherfucker. You almost had me. You're a fucking demon, aren't you? No! Oh, fuck. Yeah. Give me my shit back. Thank you. Two, one, awaken from slumber. Oh. <clears throat> How long have I been out for? You've uh, been asleep for about three days. Three days? What now? What now? I'll tell you what now. You're going to give me my briefcase back. And then you're gonna leave. And then I'm gonna leave. And when the timing's right, I'll call you up on the telephone when I require your services once again. No, I meant what now between me and my stomach. Fucking starving to death. You assholes ever heard of an IV? Oh, that what now. I'll tell you what now between you and your stomach. I'm going to call us up a couple of hard, professional drivers. They're going to come down here and pick us up and take us out to breakfast. The Jackrabbit Slims. You're going to order yourself a nice stack of blueberry pancakes, some maple syrup, and a $5 milkshake. And when you're done all of that, you're gonna get up and you're gonna excuse yourself from the table. But you're gonna leave the briefcase behind. Because it's my briefcase. And I appreciate the work that you've done for me. That's what now between me and you and your stomach.
Hey, where are you headed? I, uh, um, I, uh, uh, whatever. I just gotta, uh, 